Welcome back to the Insider's Guide to Vantage Point. This brief tutorial describes how to use Symbol Override. Symbol Override gives you an easy way to modify Vantage Point to accommodate unexpected changes to data symbols. There are three easy steps. Obtain the new data symbol from your data provider, and this usually takes place automatically with an end-of-day download. Enter the new data symbol into Vantage Point using Symbol Override. Restart Vantage Point and it will read the new data symbol and generate charts and reports. This gives you uninterrupted access to charts even if the exchange unexpectedly changes a symbol for a market. I will now show you a real-life example of how to use Symbol Override. The ticker symbol for Lowe's conveniently changed from LTR to L shortly before this tutorial was prepared. I obtained the new data symbol L from CRB automatically as a result of one of the end-of-day downloads. I'll now show you how to use Symbol Override in Vantage Point to enter the new symbol. Find Lowe's on the Markets tree. If you need some assistance locating this market, use Vantage Point's Find feature to search by ticker symbol. Now that you've found Lowe's on the Markets tree, right-click directly on its name and then select Properties from the Context menu. The next screen that appears is the Lowe's Market Properties. Select the Advanced tab. Notice that the old symbol, LTR, is shown in the Symbol Override box. Type the new symbol, L, in the Symbol Override box. Be sure to keep the semicolon S. Click OK on the Market property screen, and notice that no error message appeared. This means that the L, the new symbol, is included in the end-of-day data. Close and reopen Vantage Point. After Vantage Point reopened, I then created a chart for the Lowe's market. And you can see this chart is updated through July 25th. This is how I know that Vantage Point is reading data for the new symbol L instead of the old symbol LTR, because the old symbol LTR stopped trading on June 22nd. So if Vantage Point was still reading that old data, this chart would not be updated past June 22nd. Now you also notice that you still see the old symbol LTR in the chart heading on the chart tab and if you want to search for symbol and find the Lowe's market you still use LTR to search. I want to show you a couple more things on the Lowe's market property screen. To get back to that screen I located Lowe's on the markets tree right-click directly on the name, and then select Properties from the drop-down menu. Click on the Advanced tab, and take a closer look at the Symbol Override section. The symbol shown for the CRB is L semicolon S. You may have been wondering about the semicolon S when we changed the symbol earlier. Of course, this is not the ticker symbol L semicolon S, the ticker symbol is simply L, but you need to include the semicolon S because this tells Vantage Point that this symbol represents data for a stock and not data for some futures market. Click on the link to the right of service bulletins to access a source of useful information about data symbol changes. The Vantage Point Software Bulletins page gives you information about stock symbol changes and delistings, and it's not limited to the stocks. It can also provide information about futures markets as well. Let's scroll down through this site and take a look at some of the listings. And you can see there is a listing for June 23rd that lets you know that the data symbol for Lowe's changed from LTR to L.
Use Symbol Override to quickly and easily modify Vantage Point to accommodate data symbol changes. Refer to the Service Bulletin's website for up-to-date information on symbol changes and stock delistings. Thank you for watching the tutorial on Symbol Override. Please visit the Market Technologies Learning Center for additional tutorials.